Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I am the program coordinator for Teach Kind, PETA's Humane Education Division. And today I have a very special guest with me. This is Lily, my stepdaughter. Can you say hi to everyone? Hi. And Lily, how old are you? I am eight years old. Eight years old, and what grade are you in? I'm going in, I'm second going into third. Second going into third, but like millions of students throughout the country right now, Lily is not physically in school, but that's not stopping her from learning here at home and of course reading every day, right? Now, reading isn't Lily's favorite activity, but she does really like animals. And parents and teachers can use their students' natural interest in animals to engage them academically and motivate them to learn. So I think Lily and hopefully all of you at home are gonna enjoy today's story time because today's book is all about animals. It's called Our Farm by the Animals of Farm Sanctuary. It's a collection of poems written by Maya Godfrey from the perspective of a bunch of different animals at Farm Sanctuary. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Farm Sanctuary is an organization that rescues animals like cows, pigs, chickens, and sheep. And at Farm Sanctuary, these animals don't have to work. They don't have their eggs or their milk or their wool taken from them. They pretty much get to do whatever they want whenever they want, all day long. Doesn't that sound really nice? Yeah, so today we'll be reading our farm together and discussing some of the ways that we can all be helping animals like the ones featured in today's book. So without further ado, are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right. Our Farm by the Animals of Farm Sanctuary. Poems by Maya Godfrey and paintings by Robert Huawei Zakinich. Welcome to our farm. JD the piglet, Diego the duck, Mayfly the rooster, Whitaker the calf, and their friends are all eager to meet you and to tell you their stories. So let's go. Let's head to the barn. All of the happy animals in this book live now, or once did, at Farm Sanctuary, a shelter for farm animals, where their only job is to enjoy life and be loved. So what animal do we have here? A cow. A cow, good, and her name is Maya, AKA Grandmama Moo, Miss Grandmama Moo, excuse me. And her poem is titled Wisdom. My name is Maya, but you can call me Grandmama Moo. Because, my dear, I was here before you. Come walk with me, darling, little calf, little one. I'll show you the most wonderful spot in the sun and the sweetest patch of grass and the softest bed of clover. Come here now, baby. Let Grandmama Moo teach you a wise old thing or two. Now this poem and some of the others we'll be reading today have rhyming words. And of course, rhyming words have the same ending, but different beginnings, right? Mm -hmm. So here we have moo and you. And here we have one and what's that word? Sun. Sun, good. And again, here we have moo and two. two. Good. So as we're reading today, everyone watching at home, Let's see if you can find some other rhyming words. All right, and who do we have here? A uh, rooster. A rooster, good. And his name is Mayfly, and his poem is titled, Ladies First. I'm the first to wake in the morning and the first to sense the coming storm. I keep an eye on all of the hens and make sure that they are safe. I stand guard from my post on the fence as they scratch, scratch, scratch and bathe in the dust. Please step aside for the chickens. A true rooster knows it is always ladies first. What animal do we have here? Looks like a pig. Pig, yep, and his name is JD. He's a piglet, so he's a baby. It looks like we've got carry the pig here as well. 
and JD's poem is called Freedom. I'm free and I'm running and I'm running and oh, I can feel the sun on my snout. There goes a fence post and I'm running and I'm running and oh, the mud is spraying on my warm belly, so cool and wet. There goes a tree and I'm running and I'm running and oh, I hear the wind whistling in my ears. There's that person who feeds me and I'm running and I'm running and wait, that person who feeds me, I'll run later. So you must be hungry, huh? For all this food here. And what animals do we have here? Chickens. Chickens. This is actually my favorite poem in the book. It's titled Different, and it's by Gabriella, a Bantam chicken. I like to strut. She likes to shimmy. He likes to take in the view. We're all different, but we're still related. And in some ways, just like you. So Lily, what's one thing that you and a chicken have in common? Both like to play outside. Both like to play outside. Both have two eyes, right? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Legs. Two legs, right? Mm -hmm. And just like all animals, chickens have the ability to feel pain. So one way we can help chickens and the other animals we've read about so far today, like JD the piglet and Maya the cow and Mayfly the rooster is to leave them off our plates and instead eat delicious, healthy vegan foods, right? Good. What animal do we have here? It looks like a goat. It's a goat, good. And her name is Clarabelle. Her poem is titled, Wandering. Darling, this is my home. Wherever my mind wanders is exactly where I roam. Daisies, they call to me, trees sing my name. So I follow their invitations and go where I may. Ooh, what do we have here? Ducks. Little baby ducks or ducklings, right? So we've got one, two, three, four little poems that are collectively called We Are Family by the ducklings. Look here. Can I follow it? And that's by Prince Cornwall. What does he see, or who does he see, rather, here on the ground? An ant. A little ant, right? And then here, Wriggle, Wriggle, Splash by Princess Charmaine. You think they're brother and sister, Prince Cornwall and Princess Charmaine? And then here we've got Sister, Shake a Tail by Sesame Seed. And then this one says, Brother, watch me swim by Poppy Seed. What's Poppy Seed swimming in? A cup. A little teacup. Do you think they're brother and sister too? Yes. Sesame Seed and Poppy Seed. What do we have here? What kind of animal is this? A sheep. A sheep, good. And his name is Ramsey. And his poem is titled, our introduction. Don't make a move. I haven't decided whether you are to be trusted. You don't look like my other sheep friends. I'll have to think this over. Hmm. Nice and gentle. Not too pushy. Yes, I think you pass inspection. Just mind your manners, kiddo. Now that we've come to an understanding, I suppose you could rub my nose. Thanks. And if you happen to have a carrot, I might even call you pal. So one easy way we can all help sheep is by not wearing clothing made from their wool. Sheep who are used for their wool aren't treated very well and there are lots of cozy and warm clothing made from materials that don't hurt sheep, like cotton, for example, right? What kind of animal do we have here? They look like turkeys. Turkeys, good. 
This one's name is Whisper. She must be quiet. And her poem is titled Dance. See our magnificent dance in the grass. We are so graceful, like a ballet class. Who knew turkeys like to dance? They're very graceful animals. In fact, did you know that Benjamin Franklin wanted them to be the symbol of America instead of the eagle? Can you imagine? Instead of the eagle, we have a turkey like whisper here. Ooh, what do we have here? A donkey. A donkey, very similar to your favorite animal, right? What's your favorite animal? A horse. A horse. And this donkey's name is Bonnie. And it's titled The Hill. Here, the fields and trees, the wide green hills, all in front of me. Here, my mane swept by wind. Here, my ears filled with quiet. Why ever stray? I'd rather be here. Watch the land, feel the sun. That one's nice. And who do we have here? A pig. A pig named Violet. What's she eating down there? Can you see? Or sniffing? Apple. An apple. Very good. And her poem is titled A Flower's Life. My name is Violet and I am a flower. See, my bed is made of grass. My hooves are planted firmly in the dirt. I perk up like a daffodil after it rains, and I smell sweet like a lily. I take a sun bath nearly every day. I must be a flower, truly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go roll in the mud. Do you know why pigs roll around in the mud? Because they can't sweat and that helps keep them. That's good, yeah, they can't sweat like humans can, so they roll around in the mud to cool off on a hot day. But pigs are actually very clean animals. When they're given enough space, they actually won't go to the bathroom in the same place where they sleep or eat. Did you know that? What kinds of animals do we have here? Sheep or goats. They're goats, yeah, they look like sheep though, don't they? Their names are Ari and Alicia. Their poem's titled, It's Good to Be a Kid. Hello there, how are you? Cool bag. Let's have a sample. Yummy pants leg. Can I try some? I'd like to nibble on your sleeve. Nice shoes. Do they taste good? Nice to meet you. So instead of nice to meet you, they say nice to meet you. So I bet if we went to Farm Sanctuary, these two would nibble on our clothes, huh? Mm -hmm. If you've ever met a goat, you know that they're really playful and curious animals. And when they feel safe and loved, like the ones at Farm Sanctuary do, goats will actually show you their really big personalities and they tend to be a little mischievous too. What kind of animal do we have here? A cow. Cow, yep. This is Whitaker. He's actually a baby cow. Do you know what a baby cow is called? A calf. A calf, good. And his poem is titled, Afraid? Really? You're afraid of me? When I grow up, I'll be big and strong, but I won't be mean. I was hoping that we would be friends. We could run through the great field together. Why don't you think it over? I'll be right over there with the ladybugs. See the ladybug down here? Why do you think Whitaker thinks people who visit him are afraid of him? Because he's bigger than them. He's really big, right? Have you ever seen a cow up close before? Kind of. Kind of? Well, even the baby cows are quite big, but they're so friendly and gentle when they're given the proper care and love that they need. And one way we can help cows without even meeting one like Whitaker is to just not wear things like shoes or belts that are made from leather. Leather is made from cow skin. And of course, cows need their skin to survive. Instead, you can wear 
leather that's made out of things like pineapple or mushrooms. Isn't that neat? Who do we have here? A duck. A duck, and his name is Diego. And his poem is titled, Follow My Lead. Quack. Yes, quack. Are you ready? Come along with me now. Join my parade. Okay, everyone into the water. Flap, flap, go our feet. Keep an eye on my tail feathers. Follow my lead. Right, next up the bank. Let's march, my friends. Step one, shake two, waddle three, and quack. Oh yes, quack. I like that one. We have ducks in our neighborhood, don't we? Ooh, what do we have here? Bunnies. Bunnies or rabbits. And these poems are actually haikus. Do you know what a haiku is? No. So a haiku has three lines. It's a poem with three lines. And in the first line, there are five syllables. In the second line, there are seven syllables. And in the third, there are five syllables. So it goes five, seven, five. And the way you know you have a syllable is if you can clap when you say it. So CC has two syllables, CC. And Barnaby over here has three syllables, Barnaby. So everyone at home as we read, see if you can count the syllables in each line of these haikus. So Stacy's haiku goes like this. I'm very nervous. A noise back there must keep still. When it's safe, I'll run. Why do you think Cece is so nervous? Maybe because she thinks that they should get rid of her. Yeah, we don't know what kind of past Cece had, right? Remember, all of the animals at Farm Sanctuary were rescued. And we don't always know what an animal has experienced before. So if we don't know an animal and they don't want to be touched or played with, it's really important to respect that and give them lots of space. You can always just look at her from afar, right? And then Barnaby's haiku over here goes like this. See me in the grass? Maybe I will hop to food or go sniff pansies. So they have two different personalities, right? All animals have unique personalities. Just like us, that's right. All right, last poem. This one's titled, Thank You. What animal do we have here, Lily? Looks like a boo or a sheep. It's a sheep. Yeah, goats and sheep do look similar, but this one's a sheep, and her name is Hilda. And again, her poem is titled, Thank You. Thank you to the wind that cools. Thank you to the moonbeams that shine. Thank you to the field of wheat and to the soft grass below. Thank you to the sunflowers that sway. Thank you to the sky above. Thank you to the kind hearts and hands that brought me to my home. So did you enjoy our farm today? A lot. Yeah, it was really nice. So there are several ways that we can all help animals like the ones featured in our farm. First, by going vegan, you can save nearly 200 animal lives a year. That's a lot, right? That is a lot. Uh, you can also choose to wear clothing that isn't made from animals. So wool is made from sheep, right? And leather, for example, is made from the skins of cows. Uh, and then finally, we can all be a hero to animals by simply keeping our eyes peeled and being on the lookout for any who might need our help. So for example, if we see an injured duck, or squirrel in our neighborhood, we want to stop an adult and call our local animal rescuers because it could save their life, right? Yeah, so if you enjoyed today's video, please like it and share it with others. And for more compassionate children's books, you can visit teachkind.org where you'll find dozens of free lessons and activities for students in grades K through 12. These materials will not only help them practice academic skills like reading comprehension 
in writing persuasively, but it'll also develop their empathy for animals. So thank you all so much for reading with us today and stay safe. Can you say bye to everyone? Bye.